Queens of the Stone Age. You think it ain't worth a dollar, but I feel like a millionaire. Super long title. Fun song to play. All right, so essentially there's uh, kind of just two parts to this song, but there's also a bunch of kind of soloing just going over the top of a lot of it. Um, they're all fun riffs to play here. Uh, just a special note, uh, you're going to need to be in a standard C tuning, okay, so it's just essentially take a standard tuning and drop everything uh, four steps there. Okay, so we got C, F, A sharp, D sharp, G, and C. All right, and uh, crank the fuzz, and um, there's a little bit of a wah effect on this. Uh, just a uh, positioned pedal. Um, I'll leave you a link for everything, all the effects I'm using in the description. You can check that out. Uh, also, hit that subscription button. Help out the channel. That'd be awesome. So I'll jam through all the different parts for you here. And then at the end, I'll go back through them all and give you all the uh, details with the walkthrough and let you know what's going on. All right, so uh, let's get into this. Here we go. Okay, so for starters, we have the main intro and verse riff going on, but uh, as I mentioned previous, this is kind of a wah effect going on, like a filter, heavy filter, and it's super just squawky. And uh, so what you'd want to do is just take your wah pedal and just kick it up so that you get that uh, super mid-range tone. And if you don't have a wah, you can just you know tweak an EQ and just get super uh, scooped out mids on it whichever you want to do. So, uh, get that effect going, and we're going to be doing this now, where we're on the, uh, I guess you'd call it the third string here. It's now the A sharp, used to be the D string. Uh, we're going to go five to seven. Okay, come up, hit the seventh fret on the second string while hitting open top string with it. Okay, and you want to strum this by doing a one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Kind of hold that a moment and then strum another five. All right, and then just kind of hold it again and then a quick one last strum. So it's a really unique uh, strum pattern that goes on here that you kind of want to get dialed in. Okay, so once more, it's slowly here we go. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one. All right. Okay, so we just rock on that for a while. The drums are going, and uh, eventually it just all kicks off the uh, filter effect and just blasts into the regular verse. So let me just play, you know, how it sounds with the filter up to tempo here.
All right, and then once everything kicks in full blast, you know, the filter effects off, and we're just rocking it with a, a bunch of compressed fuzz on there. And uh, it's the same thing. Okay, we're uh, messing around with that five to seven on the third string, and then hitting the seven on the second string with the open top string. All right, and now we can mix in uh, some new elements. This here we're gonna do, uh, once we get through it, you know, a few times, towards the end of it now, we're gonna mix this in where we go seven, five, seven on the second string, do a seven to five on the third string, and then come up and hit our uh, seven on the second string with the open top strings, that strum again. Okay, so it's just a quick little thing that gets mixed in there, it's something like, It's just a little something you want to drop in there towards the end of it. So up to tempo, uh, everything sounds like this. Okay, now we'll get to our second riff. Pretty basic. We're just going to come up and hit fifth fret on the top string with a seven on the second string. Just do three strums there. Okay, then we come down two frets to the th uh, third fret top string, fifth fret on the second string, and then we just rock this for the remainder of the measure. All right, and just repeat that. Okay, and a second guitar starts coming in now, and it's gonna just be doing its own little uh, noodly solo type things throughout the remainder of the song. Uh, initially, uh, through that first second riff, uh, it'll just drop something like this in, where we're going to go five seven five seven five seven on the second string, just really quick, like just a little thing in the background there, and then it'll start doing some scaling stuff. Next time around, it does this, where it's going to go five seven on the second string, five on the third string, seven on the third string. Okay, come up, hit eight on what used to be the B, the second string here, and we just bend that and release it. Okay, so it's this little scale, it's something like. All right, so I'll play those up to tempo for you now. Okay, and once we get to this second riff, the second time around later on in the song, uh, we kind of switch up what the second guitar is during, uh, during those sections. Uh, initially, he just throws in a, a variant here where we're going 5-7 on the second string, 5-7 on the third string, give it a little bend, come off to the 5, all right, and then end up on the 7 of the second string. So it's something like... This little bluesy thing there. All right, and the second time around, it does essentially that same scale we did at the end of the first one, but once we get to that uh, 8 on the second string here, we slide that up to 12, and we give that a couple of bend and releases. Okay, so slowly it's something like this. Okay, that type of deal. Alright, so now let me just play these up to speed for you. All right, once we get towards the end of the song, we get to mix in some more cool scaling with that main riff. So it's an alteration going on here, and what we want to do is just do 5-7 on the third string, 5-7 on the second string, 5-7 on the first string, top string here, come down, hit 3-5 on the top string, and then we'll get back to our open with 7 on the second string strumming. Okay, and we're just going to finish it by doing five strums, hold it, and then a couple more. Okay, something like that. So slowly, just to hear the sounds, something like. All right, and then we just loop that. All right, so just get it up to speed for you.
All right, we start mixing in some more solos type stuff here. Uh, next, we'll go into this where we're going to be um, at the seven on the third string. All right, and we're going to go seven and then pull off nine to seven to nine on the fourth string. So something like, okay, come back to that seven on the third string, hit the nine, bend it, give it a slow release. Okay, so slowly that little bit. All right. And then the next section uh, is the beginning of a couple second sections that just get interchanged and you can just mix them in how, how you want. The first bit is just kind of this harmonized voicing of that uh, alteration of the main riff. All right, just that weird, you know, scale obvious blatant type scale sound. All right, so it's going to be on the second string here. We go 8 to 10. We go 7 to 9 on the third string, 7 to 9 on the fourth string. Come down, hit 5 to 7 on the fourth string. So slowly it's All right. So just kind of harmonizing with that altered main riff. All right. And the next part of this is essentially those same notes. We just kind of jumble them up a little bit just for grins and giggles. So it's something like uh, seven, nine on the third string, do the eight to 10 on the second string. Okay, come up, hit that seven to nine on the fourth string and go five to seven on the fourth string. Okay, so just kind of mixing them up. All right, and like I said, you can, Take this one or the previous one and just kind of lace them in there however you however you feel because it's all just like the same notes we're just uh, having fun with it all right and uh, at this point after we play with that for a while the second riff comes in again and you get this little bit of soloing happening all right so we'll have the 10 on the second string give it a bend slow release All right, and then we just do a quick eight to 10 hammer on, back to eight. Okay. And then we can add this higher voiced uh, harmonized scale with the altered main riff. All right, we're gonna be 10 to 12 on the first string, 10 to 12 on the second, eight to 10 on the second, and then finish with seven to nine on the third string. And we'll see this again at the very end of the song. All right, so now let me just uh, get all these uh, different soloings that happen. Let me just get them up to speed for you so you can hear them all. And the ending solo here, it's kind of just a, a repeating riff that happens, really. Uh, we're going to be up here, we're going to go okay, 12 to 14 here on uh, what used to be the D string. Okay, third string there from the top. Go there, we go 12 on the third string from the bottom here, it used to be the G. Okay, hit the 14 on the, what well, was the D. Bend 15 on the second string from the bottom there it used to be the B. Okay, so. All right, and that just repeats for a you know good chunk of time there. And uh, at the very end, once that second riff comes in, uh, and we're just basically wrapping up the song, we just do a, a little variation of that, what we've been doing. We'll go 12 to 14 on the old D string there. 12 on what was the G, and then we do a 14 12 on the old D string. It's just a slight little change, and then bend that 15 on uh, what was the B, now the G. Okay. Okay, just a little change there. And then, uh, as I mentioned previous, we're going to end with that higher voiced uh, descending scale. The 10 12 E was the E. 
uh, 10 12 on the second string, 8 to 10, 7 to 9 on the third string. Alright, and then the song just cuts there. Alright, so I'll just do these all up to speed for you here. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.